everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video is going to be slightly different. Now I do know that a lot of you have been following my tutorial to make these fabulous colourful face scrubbies. Now what I'm going to be showing you in today's video, I'm going to be showing you a few suggestions on how you could package these up to maybe give as gifts or if you're selling these at craft fairs or charity stores, I'll just be giving you a few ideas how to make them look a little bit more appealing. Now, if you haven't yet seen my tutorial for these face scrubbies, then I will pop the link in the description box down below. I will also put any links to any tools that I show you, um, any other tutorials that I speak about in this video, I will put all the details in the description box down below. So do check that out before you leave this video. Now, for most of my ideas, I'm going to be showing you using craft paper. Now, this can then go on and be recycled. A couple of the ideas you may want to keep for yourselves or reuse the packaging for other gifts. Now, if you don't have anything like that, you can also use up your scraps of already recycled um, paper or cardboard. You can buy this in packs from Amazon or from craft shops um, and again all of this can then be recycled on. Now when I gift or maybe sell my face scrubbies I tend to put mine in a pack of three. Now this is entirely up to, to you. You could do more maybe, maybe not do any less. I think three is about the minimum. You could have them all the same colour or as I like to do mix those colours up a little. Now the easiest way to package these would be to use this, I believe this is called Butcher's Twine. Now you can get this in all sorts of different colours and literally just put your little set of three and then tie them in a bow. Now that would be the simplest idea. You could also use some natural garden twine maybe. You could use some ribbon or just some yarn that you have left over from a project. You could coordinate your colours with the colours in your pack of scrubbies. Now that would be the simplest idea to start with. Now I also love this idea. Now these are called wraps so they literally wrap around your pack and I've just sealed it there with a little bit of washi tape. Now these are already pre-printed um, and this is a download from The Naughty Boss and as I say I will link her down below. Now I um, just order these off of Etsy and then what you do is you will download this and then just print them off in sheets. So you get about four or five of these strips on a piece of A4 card or paper. Then you cut them out and then as I say, you take them at the back. And if you see just here, you can add your own um, machine wash instructions. So that's just one idea. So why not have a go at making your own wraps? Again, I've sealed at the back using some washi tape. All I've done is take some craft paper. I've just cut a strip and then I've added this design on the front. Now, I've cut this out using my Cricut machine and then that's been stuck on the front there. You could use also, like the stamper pads, you can get handmade with love stamps. You could put that on the front. If you are particularly neat and good at writing or drawing, you could maybe do your own design there on the front. Or you could just use craft paper and just make up your own plain band. Now I do like this one. Now all I've done is take some of this brown recycled paper and then literally you would measure from this side all the way around and then you'd cut a strip. Now what I'm going to do is use my tag punch. So if you have a look at this one here, this is a, a Vason Creative one and I've got three different size punches here. Now I've cut a strip 
which is one and a half inches wide. So all you do is at each end is just line that up using these guides here and then you would just punch. And then you do the same on the other side. Punch again and then you have that design. Now you wouldn't have to, there's my little throw away bits there. If you don't have a punch, you could literally just cut maybe at an angle. Use a hole punch to make your hole. And then when you fold it around, you have that lovely design. And then tied with some more of this at Baker's twine or maybe a ribbon. I think that looks quite effective. Now, if you're not keen on the wraps, you can make these tags. Now, again, this is a downloadable print from a Naughty Boss. And again, you can see the information is on the front and there is space there for you to put your washing instructions on the back. So, as I said before, these are downloadable and you can get quite a few of these on one sheet of A4 paper. Now I like to use this recycled card but you could also do this on a patterned paper. If you've got some pattern just make sure that it's nice and clear so you wouldn't want the pattern to be too busy. Maybe just use another coloured paper. Why not make your own tags? And now again I have used my tag punch but again, that's not essential. You could cut this shape out quite easily and just punch a hole. What I also do with this tiny little punch here is just round those corners. I think it just gives a nice professional effect. Now I've done another one here using my punch and I've added a Handmade with Love sticker. So I buy these stickers on a roll. Now again, these come from Amazon or you can find something very similar in your local craft shop. And then because it's nice and plain on the back, you could write a message, maybe write your own care instructions on the back. And then finally, a nice and simple idea, just make your own little shapes. Make sure you've got um, a little hole there punched out so that you can attach at the front when you tie your little set together. Now this time I used embroidery threads and again you can put your own little message on the back. Now this circle I actually used another hole punch. <laughs> you can see I've got rather a few punches. Um, now this is a one and a half inch hole punch that I got from Hobbycraft. But as I say, you could do all sorts of different shapes. If you've got some nice festive colours, maybe you could get some green cards and make some Christmas trees or holly leaves. Just a few ideas for your tags. Now, if you're feeling very enthusiastic, you could make up some of these lovely gift boxes. Now, again, I've used just sheets of craft paper. You can see my little set of scrubbies there, and I've um, lined my box with just some plain fabric. Now, I do have a score board, so if I just show you what a scoring board is. Now I have, again, this is Vason Creative and this is Score Easy. So this is a scoring board and then it comes with this scoring tool as well. So this is how I make up my boxes. You don't necessarily need a scoring board, um, but what I will do in the description box down below is I will pop a video tutorial how to make your boxes up. Now just for reference to get this size, I started with paper that was 10 by 10 inches and this top of the box and the bottom is 4 inches so that fits in just nicely. Now the scoring boards normally on the reverse 
come with instructions how to make up boxes and how to make up envelopes. But as I say, I will put my favourite tutorial in the description box, how to make up boxes. Now, my favourite way of giving away these face scrubbies as gifts are making up these little gift bags. Now you can see I've gone a little bit mad with these. I've made them up to match my little sets of scrubbies. Now I must admit I do use another board. Now this is, if I just push these out of the way, this is the gift bag punch board by We Are Memory Keepers. All of the instructions are here on the board itself. You have, if I just show you down here, a scoring tool and it tells you that you need to score on certain lines. You use this punch here to punch out this bottom and then the instructions tell you how to put that gift bag together. You also have this little hole punch at the top which will punch out these holes for you in the correct position. And then what you do is take your ribbon, string, yarn, whatever it is that you're going to use and you can see those holes there when you fold them up you just use a darning needle to take your ribbon through. Then it comes back through this way. And then you're ready to just put in your set of face scrubbies and then tie a little bow at the front. Just like so. Now, what I particularly like about this design is the fact that you can, once you've made your box up, you can fold them down nice and flat. So ideal for sending through the post. Ideal if you have a stall at a craft fair, whatever you're doing with them, you could have a nice pile all lined up in various colours. That would be a lovely addition if you're selling your little sets of scrubbies. Maybe your customer could pick their own design for the bag. So they fold out nice and flat. Now, as I say, for that particular design, I did use this punch board. Now again, all the instructions are on the board itself and it comes with its own leaflet as well. If you'd particularly like a tutorial, just let me know in the comments below and I can just show you how I've made mine up. Now don't panic if you can't lay your hands on one of those punch boards. I have followed a tutorial on YouTube by Septeria18. Again, I will pop her name down below. She shows you literally how to make these foldable bags up. Again, you can lay them flat. Then you can pop that bottom out like so. Put your little face scrubbies in. Fold over the top if you want to, and then, whoops, can't get hold of it. <laughs> and then I've added my own little handmade tag with one of those fabulous craft pegs at the top. So you don't need any boards, any fancy equipment, and you can make your own little handmade gift bags. So just a few ideas for you and what I've done with my box. I've just added a ribbon just to make that look extra special. So what's more perfect, a handmade gift in some handmade packaging? So if you did find any of these ideas useful, then do please give me a thumbs up down below. Do share your ideas as well in the comments below and I will see you here next time. Bye bye for now.